and Shalom. Hey, Shalom. 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 First and foremost, we're going to give all praise and honor to Yahweh by Shem, El Shai by Shem, Kakadash, double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days, El Apostle Great Millstone, who will. Salutations to the most high men of four corners earth that are pushing this word of sincerity and truth. And shalom to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of the lips and salvation of Yahweh Bashi Al Shai. This is GMS Mississippi once again. Week in, week out, prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great, uplifting the lost sheep of the house of Israel that consists of the so called Negroes, so called Hispanics, so called Latinos, and the so called Native American Indians. The most high is going to send his only begotten son to come back and redeem the elect of that particular uh, line of people in the very near future. So through the spirit right now, just kind of flow, starting with Isaiah, the 55th chapter. Okay, it's Isaiah 55, verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. And that's what people understand because they try to place whom they deem as God inside of a box. But he said that my thoughts are not your thoughts. So when things are spoken that you don't understand, it's not in your best interest to automatically just go against it because you're in a particular level of ignorance. It's okay to be ignorant of certain things because not one particular soul knows everything on the entire planet. Right. Yep. Right. And it says, and it says, uh, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Heavenly Father Yahweh. And neither your ways are my ways. So the thing that the Most High does or things to do, we can never fathom the understanding level of it because he's looking light years down the line versus us looking, you know, the typical Jake has a three-month plan, six-month plan, one-year plan, five-year plan, so on and so forth. The Most High is looking for generations to come. If, if he can make a statement and say that I, I visit the sins of the iniquity of the, of, the, of the children from the fathers of the third and fourth generation, we can never understand that. Because these lives that we're living right now, here we're still making mistakes. But he's perfecting lineages that, that, that are thousands of years down the stream, man. So my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither your ways my ways. Go ahead. That's why the uh, ask kids in 10 chapter, he said, why is earth and ashes proud? Why is earth and ashes proud? Because the Most High, he, he built you up from the ground. He formed you according to his particular image, according to his own personal liking. So who are we? That's why the scripture also goes into why does the, the, the axe boast itself, right? Because if I'm using you to hew something down, how can you, in mid-air or mid-strike, look up and have an accusation to say against me. That's why humility and, 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 and being meek is what the Heavenly Father desires. Verse 9, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And that's, that's how you respect Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Understanding that he is, like you went into earlier, understanding that he is, right, he exists, and his son, he is the savior, and he, and he is the deliverer. There's no in intermixing or misunderstanding when it comes to that. When you reverence the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, you reverence them with that understanding that, that, that they are, are above and we are beneath. Well, he's called the most high for a reason. Yep. Omnipotent. Yeah. Omnipotent. Like you got a power like that characterizing himself as an ancient of days. Right. You know? And Al-Ashadi. al Yep. So it says, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts than your thoughts. Now jump to Second Corinthians. Just the book of Second Corinthians, chapter seven, verse twelve. Wherefore, though I wrote unto you, I did it not for his cause that had done the wrong, nor for his cause that suffered wrong, but that our care for you in the sight of the Most High might appear unto you. Right. Yep. Therefore, we are confronted in your comfort, yea, and exceedingly the more joy we for the joy of Titus because his spirit was refreshed by you all. For that's why the scripture says to do what? To comfort one another with these words. So we're comforted in, in, in knowing that we are comforting you by, by telling you what thus said to Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shah. You know what I mean? Like we're comforted in understanding that that that, that those things that are well pleasing unto the Lord, we're practicing and we're co irksing our fellow brethren, our fellow sisters, right? To do what? To do the same. And that's why when you place the most high inside of the box, you push him off to the side and tiptoe and do what it is that you want to do. But when you release the heavenly father and, and understand that your arms are entirely too short to box with him, meaning what? Therefore, you can't place him inside of a box. You understand that his ways are so massive 
that you are, are automatically uh, to, uh, to place yourself not in the dust of confusion, but just sit down completely in the realm of understanding. Right, because the, the Heavenly Father is looking for us to submit ourselves unto Him, but He's also looking for us to have an understanding mind towards His wisdom, His knowledge, and His understanding. Because if He's the Creator of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, how can our minds be any higher than His? And that's why death is going to be uh, uh, very rampant. It's going to be uh, uh, very high in these days to come. Because the Heavenly Father, when you read the book, of, I get that uh, uh, Proverbs you know, what's than that? six and one. You know, they, 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 because people say that the Heavenly Father is all love. Yeah, yeah, he is. He does have uh, uh, loving characteristics and traits, right? But he's also a particular balance of, of hate. He's also a particular balance of evil. Not that he's evil, but he can have evil before you, right? Like when you look at excuse my French, but when you look at someone that can kick your ass, it's the Heavenly Father. He can put a whipping on you that you would a, a, a desire death versus to continue going through that, man. I got a quick one. You got a book. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 11. For I am with thee, for I am with thee, saith the Lord Yahweh, to save thee, though I might make full end of all nations where thou have scattered thee, Yet will I not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in measure and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. Hey, that's, uh, um, that's something that people can't understand why us, the nation of Israel, go through some of the things we go through, man. Because our disobedience, you know, going on, worshiping false idols and everything, the Lord be punishing us and still is punishing us to this day, man. So those are the, uh, 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 the lashes for being, you know, What's, what's what I'm looking for? Disobedient children, man. And when we try to tell our people, you know, this is the Lord's doing because our disobedience, they don't really understand it or can't comprehend it, man, because they think the Lord is all good, as the elder was going into. Like, but he's a complete balance, man. Good and evil. He said he created good, created good and evil, man. So he's going to uh, uh, judge by punishment and he's going to judge by salvation, man. Hey, that's a good point because uh, that movie, uh, Boys in the Hood, uh, Doughboy's character, you know, Ice Cube's character, Doughboy, he said about the guy, you know, said, why would God do us like that? Right. He says in Malachi, uh, they, uh, Israel say, uh, my desire hates me, you know what I'm saying, roughly to paraphrase it. So that shows you right there how people really think, man, in general, man. Right. You know what I'm saying, like, why would God do you like this? Or yeah. why, why we do us like this? Yeah, it's called judgment. It's, it's called judgment. You know? And yeah, that's why the most high, he commanded, uh, uh, in order for you to raise your child up uprightly, he tells you to do it, not withhold the rod. Because th that is a rod of correction in which the Heavenly Father has given us the rod of correction. So when we don't take heed to this, the, the, the spiritual rod of correction, he gives us what? The physical rod of correction. Hence, here we are, 400 years in, right? 400 plus years in, I'm getting what? Getting that physical rod, which is that, is that butt whipping. You know? When your parents take the belt, take the switch, take the... Uh, the mop, the mop handle, yeah. whatever they did, right? Use your own discretion whether you think it was abuse or not. <laughs> you know, but at the end of the day, it was a rod of correction that he or she received based upon what? Based upon an act that was not well pleasing unto the author or the initiator of your particular individual self. Right? Because in the ancient days, what? When you had a disobedient child, they'll take them to the elders, man. And they'll have a discussion. And if that child is completely disobedient, they're going to stone his ass, man. And the scripture also goes, too, if a child is disobedient to his mother and his father, that's their own earth, man. Your uh, uh, physical mother and father, earthly mother and father, man, that the light should be put out. So, you know, that, that uh, uh, um, disobedience, man, is always going to come with a punishment, man. You know what I'm saying? This Proverbs 6, 16. It says, These uh, six things that the Heavenly Father Yahweh hates. So, these six things that the, that the Lord hates, right? G O D, God, the Lord Yahweh, right? Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. And seven are an abomination, just filthy, a filthy act that he despises. Verse 17, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. You know, and these are things that the Heavenly Father hates. He hates a proud look. Why? Because you think that you you should walk around thinking that you are the, the author of all actions on earth. Right? right? You're a proud individual, and guess what? The Heavenly Father hates you. 
That's right. That shows you, like, in spirit, you know, uh, it represents America, too. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because America, the, uh, the Marine, the yeah. proud, the Marine, you know, yeah, yeah, the yeah. few, the yeah. proud, yeah. the brave. You know, yeah. Uh, you got a company called, like, American Pride. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it says right here. Air Force, aim high. Yeah, aim high, you know? And uh, it says right here, um, the seven are an abomination to the Lord, a proud look, a lion tongue, the hands are shed, and it's in blood. Zechariah right 3 chapter calls America the house of the thief. Because you start from most eyes chosen people and pretending like it's yours. You so called discovery. You know what I'm saying? So this is how it's going to be. You saying? And he just shed, uh, uh, shed blood. He just shed blood. He just shed blood. And some shots just rang off in the, uh, in the back. In the background, you know, whether it was a murder or was a shooting, a drive by right, right. or, or a shootout, you know, right, right. and they just rang off, man. All right, verse 18 a heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift to run into mischief, you know, and, and that's our people, you know, always quick to run to mischief. And then, and then, and then saying, I know my heart. But, but you're not trying to do anything better. You're not trying to improve. That's just like a, a, a thief keeps saying, but y'all really know I want to take this. Why you keep doing it? Like every time you come around, something come up missing. But, but, but you said, but, you know, but we all seeing though, right? Like, dude, you have control over what you're doing right now. So what's going to heal that? And the ass whooping from the most side or death. Because you're tempting the Lord, man. You know, you tempting the Lord, you keep doing all this mischief and wickedness, but you talk about the Lord know your heart, but you're not putting no foot forward to try to do what's pleasing to the Lord. So like you say, he gonna put his foot in your ass, man. I'm gonna get one or two more, you got one group? You good? All right. Let's get your precept. I get first Peter 2 and 19. This uh, second Ezra is the ninth chapter, starting verse 11. It says, And they that have loathed my law, being despised, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was opened unto them, understood not, but despised. Yep. Verse 12, the same was doing after death by pain. Death by pain. So, so, so meaning what? The most high, as it is written, my hand is stretched out still. This is that grace period. So if you keep continue to shut it off to the side and not even putting forth any effort to, to, to become closer and not unto Yahweh Shim Shah, he's going to make you permanently a, a, a far away from him. Right? And he's going to despise you. And ultimately, he's not going to protect you. And and lastly, he's going to destroy you. That's it. That's it. You know, that's, you gotta go. That was just a, that's a heavy form of disrespect. You know, you try to shake somebody's head and they just shut you up. You know, like, you know, like, what's good? What's the problem, man? So you're going to take some type of offense to it. So how much more the heavenly father is going to be God's son, man? Peter 2 and 19. Let's start at 18. This uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, starting at verse 18. Service, be subject to your master with all fear. Not only to not only the good and gentle, but also to the forward. For this is thankworthy if a man for consents toward the most high and do grief, suffering wrongfully. It shows, it shows you uh, the most high has different characteristics of his prophets, man. That's right. You know, you're going to have, you know, the so-called, you know, like, just, like, nice type of uh, soft-speaking uh, prophets. And also, you're going to have them uh, just tell your ass off, man. That's right. You know, so, but that shows you the ultimate balance of your own prophets. That's it, bro. Yeah, yeah, so like, hopefully you all was edified. We had a great edified listening experience. So we like to give all the glory again to the Howard, the Shem, the Shah, the Shem, the Dash. No bonus to our apostles and others, great millstone. Salutations to all these who say, I can be also strong. Keep your support. Shalom. Shalom.